So for this project, I'm going to take inexpensive dollar store flowers and put them together in combinations that come out really pretty. These are some I've already done. For our first flower, I'm going to take this yellow, this white or cream, and another yellow. So I'm going to start by taking them apart and then I'm going to put the middle and the back on the side, but I'm going to put them together so this way when I'm all ready to reassemble them, I have both pieces. Once I have them all separated, I'm going to iron them flat. This way they look nicer. Uh, just a couple of passes on a low setting with a thin cotton scrap. This way they're protected from the iron and this is what they come out looking like. So then I can just layer them up. So I have the yellow, the cream, and then the center. So now I can reassemble them. I'm not gonna use this small center. It's just not impressive to be honest with you. So I have a couple of choices here. I have the two that came with these flowers up top. So I can pick between the two of them. And I'm gonna take that back apart Oops, uh, that didn't come out too good. I'm gonna use that later and pick a different one. So there you go. I'm gonna just use this to put my whole flower together. Now that I have my flower all together, I could use it to decorate. I could put it back on the bouquet or I can use it on a headband, uh, maybe a lampshade or a picture frame, or as in a previous uh, video, I used it to make a wreath. For this second flower, I'm going to use pink and purple. And again, I'm gonna put three flowers together. As you can see, they definitely need to be ironed. So I'm gonna put these aside and use the ones that I've already ironed. And then I'm going to mix them together into a pretty combination. For the next flower, I'm going to assemble four flowers this time. So I've already ironed out my pieces. So I have this yellow sunflower, a uh, white daisy I'm going to put on after that. This orange flower was just a mess before I ironed it out and it looks so much better. And then I'm gonna to top it off with this little yellow one. Again, I'm not gonna use that middle, you know that. I need something a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna put on all the layers which is about eight pieces, little by little. I want you to see all the colors when it's done. Now I'm going to put together five flowers. So I have pink, white, and some purple. Uh, so I already ironed some of them so they're easier to assemble. Uh, little by little and I want to mix them up and this actually I got to see it already. This is my favorite So I'm going to mix up the colors a little bit here and there so that the pretty purple really shows through when it's done gonna center it with my purple and white and I want a nice big center this time to hold this all together uh, just a little more color before I put it together and this has several layers but don't worry the back and the front come together and I hold it tightly once it's all together flower works with a purple headband or a pink headband and it came out really pretty 
So here's all of our flower combinations and now you get the opportunity to pick and choose which ones you want to put together. Now if you want to dress up your flower a little bit, the big center is nice, but for this little center I thought we'd add a little bling. So I have some big rhinestones. I'm going to take that one we broke before and just rip it off all together. Get my glue gun out. I still have some uh, glitter glue in it from the last project. And I'm going to put that. There's a little bit of a gap, so I'm just going to run a bead around it and hide that gap. And it's glitter glue, so it's okay if it shows because it'll be pretty. Now that it's all together and I have my bling, I'm going to use my glue gun to attach it to this headband. Just going to trim it off so it lays more flat, little glue gun, and then I'm going to glue it slightly to the side of my headband.